next video I am going to discuss about pagination in a search engine so I have another video on search engine without pagination you can have a look on this video too that is how to create a search engine in PHP you can get that video on my YouTube channel or on my website which is findsourcecode.com so let's begin our tutorial at first go to PHP my admin and create a database if you don't have one as you can see I have already created one database called for underscore tutorial and I have a table called search engine inside my database if I show you what is inside my table that is I have four fields one is ID title description and URL and as you can see I have two input inside my table and for ID please you, uh, let me show the structure to you that is for ID use integer type and the length is 11 for this and don't forget to choose the auto increment option and the index is primary for ID and for other fields like title description and URL you can just use the type as text and the collation as UTF-8 Unicode underscore CI so that will basically all about the database so once uh, you have finished creating the database just check the description section that is I will provide a link there so that uh, you can get to the source code and actually I will discuss about the source code and how it works I am not going to write the whole code because it is too long and it will take a huge time a lot of time so once you go to that link or if you visit my website findsourcecode.com then you just search for pagination in a search engine from the search menu then you can get the post so just follow the post I believe this will be enough but I am making this video just for the convenience of the beginners of PHP so as you can see we have finished the database creation process and then copy this code step 1 and take a file called index.php and inside this index.php paste it so basically you have to do nothing for this portion because everything is ok the submit value is search source code you can change this value but I will recommend you not to change it now at least check the whole code once and then change it as you wish and then we have another file called search.php so just copy this code for search.php it is pretty much long that's the only reason I am not going to write the whole code instead of that I am uh, explaining the code or how it works I will just show that Okay, so I'm going to paste it inside the search.php and I will show you where you need to modify or edit my code in line number 10 to connect with the database I used mysql underscore connect and here you have to write the host name mysql host name for me it is localhost and my mysql username is root and the password is root and then you have to select the database with mysql underscore select underscore db so just name write the name of your database for me it is for underscore tutorial and actually it is not a good process uh, I mean this way of connecting to the database you should create another file called connect.php and write the code simply in this way and just uh, 
include the file inside this search.php basically that will work fine but I'm going to do it now in this process and then in line number 25 you have to select the database table name in my case the name of my database table is search engine and then I have to write this once again here search engine and another thing is in uh, it is in line number 45 I have to write it again and another thing is this per page variable or is a dollar per page uh, actually you have to give a value here that is how many data you want to show per page I mean the search results so as I shown you earlier that I have only two inputs so I'm going to write it one just to show you that the pagination is working fine you can change this value to 10, 20, 30, whatever you wish. So I think this is basically the code. And another thing is in at line number 60, 64 to 82, this is the basically showing the buttons one to previous next. So here as you can see that is search.php question mark search the search input and at the same time the submit so if you look it very carefully that is submit equals search plus source plus code that's why I told you earlier no don't to no, uh, don't change the code first that is you can see the value search source code so if you change this value search source code here then please change here too if you just want to write submit then delete this search plus source plus code just write submit and then uh, everything is okay and here to and in line number 73 to and in line number 80 so basically this is all about the code now save the file go to your browser and open index.php okay you can see my search engine so source just write source you can see two results found one is find source code and we have a pagination here I mean we have one to next button here if you click two then you can see provat source that is another result and if you hit the previous button we are back again if you press the next button we are going to the next page and everything is working perfectly if you add some CSS code with it it will look much more beautiful but I'm not going to discuss about that here so that's all about pagination in a search engine I hope it will help you and if you have any question please uh, write your question in the comment box and I'll appreciate you if you visit my website and put your question in the comment box section as I am always uh, checking my website so thanks for watching the video